Hey, how's it going, beautiful people of YouTube? My name's Cameron, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're gonna to be talking about Fortnite crashes and bugs and errors, things you come up when the game doesn't work right. And it can be really annoying, so honestly, I had this happen to me a bunch of times in the brand new chapter three, season one, uh, where basically I'd go to load up Fortnite and it'd say the game was running into an error, sorry, try again later. To hell I'm trying again later, I'm gonna keep trying until I fix it, and I managed to fix a lot of those errors so today's just a little video on how to fix Fortnite. Um, don't worry, I'm not going to make it like a 15 minute video. I'm going to try to make every part as quick and snappy as possible. So the first thing I do recommend if you guys haven't done so already is making sure your game is fully up to date. And you'll notice there's a brand new update coming out tonight. So if you're watching this video after it's just gone live, you probably have a new Fortnite update. And that might fix your issue right there, just updating the game. Okay, for the second step, you will need to close out of Fortnite. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So on the actual game here, you'll see Fortnite. You'll see three arrows here. We need to go ahead and verify. What this does is check all the game settings and files to make sure there's no bugs or errors. And if it's downloaded incorrectly while it's verifying, it'll actually re-download any missed or bugged files that need to be on your computer. And this normally really doesn't take all too long. As you can see here, it just finalized, finished, installed, and it's ready for launch. That literally only took like 60 seconds. So it's a very fast step to do, and nine out of 10, it'll fix your errors. If not, then keep watching for the rest of the steps. They do get a little bit more complicated as the video does go on. How many times have you guys popped off in a Fortnite match, literally killing every single member in the entire lobby, sending them back to their families in coffins, and then all of a sudden your internet does this? Well, say goodbye to all of that when you download no ping and get your 14 day free trial you guys can get the link down in the description below an awesome software basically what it's going to do is optimize your network and give you a faster connection to epic games fortnite servers and hundreds of other awesome free online games so get your faster connection today download no ping down in the description for the next step guys people really overlook this step and they think wow i mean that's so obvious but they don't do it a lot um just restart your pc especially if this is the first time you've seen whatever error you're you're getting in fortnite first appear you want to just go ahead and restart because i guarantee you those errors a lot of time are tied to whatever bugs or files saved caches or cookies that your PC will normally just refresh simply by power cycling your PC. And not a lot of people do that, to be honest. Most people just put their PCs to sleep and never even think twice about like turning it off, turning it back on. So make sure you power cycle it. Guarantee that helps immensely. The next tip I absolutely recommend, not a lot of people even think to do this, but because your crash reports can happen based on other applications running on your PC, I really recommend you go into background apps and turn off everything. So background apps, just search background in your search bar. When you open up that setting, just make sure everything is turned off. Of course, I already have everything turned off, but if you don't, make sure that's taken care of. All right, guys, so for the next tip, this is actually gonna refresh your Fortnite caches and cookies. So if you're still not even able to even load the game, this is the best tip for you. Uh, so basically, you're gonna come down to your search bar down here in the bottom left. You're gonna type in percent sign local app data percent sign and so this opens a file you'll see it right here so we're gonna go ahead and click on that and what we want to go ahead and find is fortnite game so once you find your fortnite game file just simply right click on it go to properties and you can go ahead and also just add a one to the end of it what this effectively is going to do is reset everything in your Fortnite game. I'll have to close Fortnite in order to make that change. And there we go. So after you change the name and just add a one, or you can add any character, just make sure that the Fortnite game name is different. And what this will do is just refresh all the caches and cookies in Fortnite. When you first load up the game after changing the name of that game file setting, it'll tell you that it'll find the best settings for your system. Just click decline. Also, your lobby will look a little weird. It'll have like this blue global look to it. Don't worry about that. That happens every single time that file's reset. Just the first time you open up the game. The next time it'll be fully normal. Don't even worry. Um, you'll also need to just change real quick your video settings. So the only thing that changed here is just your video settings. These are the only things. Your other game file settings, your mouse settings, everything else will be the same. 
This only takes a quick second to fix though. If your game crashes randomly while playing the game, there's some things you can do to adjust it. First of all, if, if you guys haven't changed anything like as far as your settings going into like different rendering modes, absolutely take advantage of performance mode. Switch it to performance mode, play around for a bit. If that fixes your error, I'd recommend keeping performance mode as maybe there's something in DX11 or DX12 that is just making your PC crash. Um, very well could be the case. If you guys get it, no matter what, just randomly playing the game, change your rendering mode anyways. If you only play performance mode, play DX11 for a bit. And if you get the same crash, we know it doesn't have to do with your rendering mode. But this is key importance here. As you can see, it uses things on your CPU and GPU, and it just it performs differently on each rendering mode. And switching that may resolve all your problems, bugs and errors and stuff. So if that doesn't solve it, we're gonna go into a little bit more technical stuff. You'll wanna close down your game. Now the first thing I'd recommend is checking to make sure your graphics card is up to date. So the next thing to do is really just a little bit of maintenance. We wanna make sure your graphics card is fully updated. So you'll either need to go to amd.com or nvidia.com, depending on which uh, graphics card you got. And then it's just as simple as searching for your driver. So we're gonna find mine on NVIDIA. You're gonna to go to drivers in the top right. And really there's a drop down, it's pretty neat. You just go to GeForce, uh, we are on a 10 series and 1070 and yeah, and you just search it. And then you're just gonna download that. Um, it's really easy to do. You're just gonna wait for that to download, double click on the file, run it. It'll update your graphics card for you. So that's really all there is to it. Um, those tips should have helped you guys fix your Fortnite issues. So at this point, if you guys have done every single step in this video and it's still not working, I really honestly at this point, if you're still getting like crash report errors and stuff like that, I just recommend reinstalling Fortnite. Yeah, it will take an hour, two hours, it just depends on your internet speed and it's a big bummer, but this is the most surefire way to make sure you're not gonna still have any bugs or errors left in your Fortnite game that hasn't been able to be fixed. I hope that fixed your errors. If not, let me know what the specific error is down in the comment section below. If I find something, I'll respond to you and I'll let you know how you can fix that error. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out for now.